welcome. The dove saw the hens blowing like crazy out here. We got the John Cutter 7500 barred up. We're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up for the first time. Let it warm up. Might make a few cuts with it. So she does use a steel, the large steel mount, or I guess, I guess it's large.
generator it's probably gonna have a Richmond thing on it like a governor because I got the high jet all the way in and that's the, that's high as I can get the RPMs right around 11,000 getting a little bit better each time you make a cut with it. We'll go ahead and see how much oil it's putting out. So with the 24 inch bar, you can see you got two good oil stripes down so she definitely gets enough oil for the 24. <laughs>
John Cutter G7500. First cuts, first impressions. Uh, first impressions of it, it's a pretty nice saw. It feels really good when you cut. Uh, definitely gonna have to look into the carburetor to see whether this thing is governed or if it has some kind of limiter in it. I expect right now it's probably peaking close to 11.5, maybe 12, something like that. And again, it may pick up as we run it. Uh, Power-wise, first couple of cuts that I made, they were pretty disappointing, to be honest with you, for a 75cc saw. Yeah. Oh, because that camera kind of moves and follows you. It's really weird. Really? Like that camera will move just a little bit to keep up with kind of where you're at. What? <laughs> we got a future, future professional camera, camera woman filming for us today. She's doing a pretty good job. Uh, restarts, as far as restarts, it's saying, man, no problems at all. Sure, every time you cut it off, it just cuts right back on, no issues. Uh, I expect the exhaust is a major factor with holding this all back. Because looking into those three little, the three little vent covers in the front, she is pretty choked up in there. I only see maybe a one three eighths inch hole possibly inside of there so that's definitely something later on to address um the oiler adjustment seems to be working fine it's getting plenty enough oil for the 24 inch bar uh does have a front chain tensioner Seems to be working fine so far. Uh, one thing I do like about this saw is the handle. The handle is a little bit bigger round than the ones like on the 5800. It feels way better in your hands. Vibration's really not too bad on it. Uh, this is a 24 inch stock chain. It's one of the Oregon maybe LGX's possibly. I'm not 100% sure it's got the little got the little bumper link safety raker kind of deal but all in all she cuts pretty well under two hundred dollars not that bad i'm not gonna say yet that i would recommend this over the 5800 because the 5800 is just an excellent saw awesome but we're gonna continue to run this we'll get videos of it to see how she breaks in and later on we will dive in get this muffler taken care of maybe put a little port job on it go from there so we hope y'all like this video y'all have a great day a great upcoming weekend and around run over here Yeah.